DJ King Assassin still on the line, man. Uh, real quick, man, you know, I know you did a lot of other stuff. We talked about the past history and what he has got going on. But now he had, he had called me and said, hey, man, in the last 15 or so years, I have got everything back together. So uh, as all the past work and stuff like that that you wanted to talk about that you could check out, uh, I'm going to let you speak on that. Indeed, indeed. Uh, big shout out to Hayward, by the way. You know, Haystack. I know we're broadcasting out of the Haystack over Woo. there. Big shout out to Chico, Chico Spice One. Spice uh, One. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. My bad. Now, we got something incredible. It's all gravity. It's all gravity. We got something incredible. We got the reissue of the past 15 to 20 years of, of DJ King Assassin. What? And, and the reason why. It's so important that I want to let everybody know out there is because, uh, you know, before there was a DJ King Assassin, there was a Scratch Terminator. And that's what I went by, Scratch Terminator. But I've never released anything under Scratch Terminator because under Scratch Terminator before that was another name by the name of DJ Raleen that I used to go by. Uh -huh. Now, DJ Raleen actually put out uh, a record called Lyrical Prophecy. Mm -hmm. And we're reissuing that as well now. That album is kind of special to me. The reason why it's special to me is because uh, I made it with my boy Quiz One, rest in peace, and also uh, a cat named Mondishi Darkside, who's also on that record, and, and we reissued it, and it was produced by myself and Peanut Butter Wolf, who at that time was called Chris Manic, Chris Cut, who was the owner of Stone So uh, Records, who just put out a, a Charisma release. By the way that I'm on, I'm also on Charisma's album. Charisma passed away. Also, he was signed in a deal with Hollywood Basic, but wow. he, uh, unfortunately, he got shot in East Palo Alto, and somebody murdered him out there where where he couldn't, you know, uh, come out with his record no more. And it was just real bad for everybody. But at the same time, uh, Chris never forgot about it. He didn't really want to put it out, you know, to, to kind of like, you know. Uh, for the family. He didn't want anybody thinking like, hey, I'm just trying to make money off his death or anything. So it was a situation where he waited to this time to really put out everything like 15, 20 years later on him. You know what I mean? So that that just got reissued as well, but that's through Stone Store Records. And now my whole catalog is being reissued through iTunes, which is the past 20 albums that I put out. And, and we're talking everything from the early Tupac stuff all the way to, yeah. to the hype. <laughs> to where yeah. the Ivy movement was, was on and popping to, to this day of what we got going now. Uh, yeah, it's all available now on iTunes, and, and you'll see more releases coming as, as the months come out through We the West Life and Death. And, um, and it's for shows like this, that got 89.9, you know, coming out the college out of Haystack, that a lonely college that, that really support us and, and get the word out there on everything that we're doing on Life or Death and, you know, DJ King of Jazz and related projects from cocaine to everybody that, that we've been working with, you know, on the lately tip. So, man, it's, it's a beautiful situation. A big shout out to OG Time. I know he was on here, what, a couple of weeks back, OG Time. He's a... Uh, one of our artists on Life or Death, and, and I know y'all did an incredible interview on him. Good looking out on that, Alan. Yeah, yeah. Bringing him. Most definitely. Well, one amazing story. Real, real one quick. Story. Real quick, Assassin, because you have a lot of artists that I wanted to touch up on real quick. I know you wanted to continue with that, but can you let them know what artists is that you got coming under you and that you're working with or with the label and you're signing because you, you, you kind of surprised, right. you surprised me and, uh, you know, for people that do not know. Indeed. Like, you know, uh, like you said, you know, earlier, the cat who we had, OG Time, and he's one cat, and then, uh, the incredible, the incredible group in Vogue, folks, in Vogue, uh, one artist out of Vogue named Maxine Jones, we saw it in her, she's coming out, uh, with her single called Didn't I on the 24th, and we are actually filming the video, uh, this month as well. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. We're, fil we're filming her video out in the Bay Area. I'll let you know when I'm out there. We'll, we'll hook up. But yeah. Max Jones is part of the legendary group in Vogue. Yeah, she's part of that legendary group in Vogue, and she's coming out with her solo stuff. So yeah, that means a lot to us, and I think to everybody out there, whoever was an in Vogue fan, you know. So we're bringing that into uh, into play now, which is pretty pretty incredible and exciting for myself, and, and it, it's a personal excitement for me because they were like one of my favorite groups growing up before the Destiny's Child and stuff like that. Like, I love Destiny's Child, but I never was really into it as much as I was into in Vogue, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, no, but you know, like I said, yeah. like, like, that's dope. You got, you got, like you said, cocaine, which 
uh, another artist that you said that you're working with real closely. So much success your way. Keep doing what you do. Um, you know, um, but what do you want the fans and the listeners to know about you, uh, DJ King Assassin? If you had a message to tell the people out there, uh, what would it be? The message would be is to, if you're in this in the entertainment industry, is to just keep on rocking, man, and do what you do as far as, you know, do as much as work as you can and don't ever give up. Just like, you know, the advice I got from Tupac, I'm kind of just like reiterating it right now uh, for the cats in the entertainment game. And even if you're not in the entertainment game, if you're just, you know, a fan, just listening and, and just love what you're doing, whatever job it is, whether if you're a radio host or whether you're, you're a student that's uh, studying psychology or whatever, don't ever give up on any of that stuff. You know, do it, do it to death. Do it till till you can't do it no more. Till your last breath. If that's what you love, stick at it. Don't ever let anybody sidetrack you on on your dreams to pursue it because you can do it. Our minds are, are very powerful. You just gotta focus on it and do it. And eventually, you're gonna get that break. And if you don't get that break, it's just not your time yet to get that break. And that's how you gotta look at it. You can't be mad at the game when when you're not getting your breaks. You gotta just keep on pushing until something comes or you break that. You know that that whole uh, entity into something being great and powerful. That's that's my whole you know uh, message to everybody out there. My whole message to everybody, even the kids, is to and for you for you olders too, for everybody that you know uh, the elders out there to definitely teach the kids. I mean, it's up to you to teach what you know, the knowledge of years of experience to teach these kids, and that's my main message to everything because I am a big, big pusher for that when it comes down to, you know, the kids, because we actually run a, a program out here in Southern California where we teach the kids how to DJ, how to make beats, how to work pro nice. everything, so so that's my, that's the reason why I'm living and why I'm here right now, and I truly believe it, because I've been through a lot of stuff where, you know, uh, God could have took my life at any moment, and that's that's why I think that, well, that's why I know why I'm here, even on this radio talking to the people and, and you listening is because he gave me another chance to teach these kids because that's my inspiration. That's that's what it all comes down to is teaching the new generation. And, and that's when it's all said and gone for me, that's what I want to be known for. It's cool to be known for the music and, and doing whatever I've done. The main thing is to teach these kids so they have something to live for and, and do the same for their kids. That's what's up. Passing on to the next generation. My dude, King DJ King Assassin right there. L.A., West Coast, all the way to the Yay area, man. Um, you want to shout anybody out? And if so, who do you want to shout out? I want to shout out Allen over there, uh, 89.9, and everybody, man. <laughs> the program director, your big shout out to him over big there. For, for, I like this. That's the... That's yeah. the main people that I want to shout out is, is the outlet that we have. You know yeah. what I mean? And... and and second of all, is, is everybody listening to every one of y'all, you know, in tune right now, listening to 89.9, uh, listening to the great music. And uh, I want to let everybody know also before I head out is uh, we got a TV show yeah. called The King of Fashion that people can tune in every Tuesday hey. from 8 to 9 p.m. Yeah, and that's that's TV. We we have a lot of. We're going to be having Alan on there. He's coming down to LA to be on the show. It's going to yeah. be real Incredibles. Incredibles, man. Yeah. Like, but anyways, uh, either way, or I don't know if I can yeah. really state this, but you know, we're going to be transitioning into syndication out there with my dude DJ King Assassin on uh, ninety eight point two The Beat or The Beat and uh, dot com as well. So uh, tune into that every Sunday yeah. at five o'clock. And um, man, I want to just appreciate you, man, for uh, checking out the show, getting on the show. And taking in the show as well for uh, you know future evolution uh, of this technology. Indeed, and that's what it's all about. And getting back to the technology uh, situation, that that's the whole key now is technology and and the internet. You know, I mean, of course, thank God for FM as well. We love FM, yeah. especially when they support eighty nine point you know, nine FM. <laughs> exactly. Yay. Exactly, because because we don't know about all the other FM stations, right? They don't really support yeah. local hip hop. Like we do. And profile like eighty nine point nine does. So that's why you know a station like yours is getting more listeners than mm -hmm. the your channel stations up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, they know, man. So I want to, I, I, much love to all, everybody out there. And I want to thank you as well. Indeed. I want to thank you too. 
Alan, and it's a pleasure likewise, man. And uh, man, let's rock and roll. Let's make some things happen. You already know what it is. It's uh, a syndication with Alan, everybody, and just like he, he stated right there, and uh, you heard it first here, the debut, as far as the syndication is concerned, he will be syndicated on a lot of other platforms with 89.9. So uh, 89.9 is uh, worldwide as it already is now. It's just going to expand everything that we got going. So, you know, uh, big shout out to Gary G out there as well. Yeah, that, that's what it do, man. 89.9 FM. I want y'all to Google my dude, DJ King Assassin. Check him out as well with this interview. And uh, much love, much success your way. Anything else you want to say? Yeah, I want to say keep up the good work over there, um, Alan and, and the PD, man. And, uh, you know, God bless, man. Put God first. That's what I want to say. Put God first and the rest will happen.